Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my kings and queens. Welcome to my channel Gots of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Libras back to my channel. If you are a night watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. Also the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video. And as you know, my Libras, your weekly does come with an extended. So in the extended, we dive deeper into the message. So what we don't uncover in the first half of the reading, we will uncover in the second half of the reading. There's two links in the description box below. One's a membership option and one's a one-time access option. Both options is $5. The difference between the two, the membership option option will allow you access to all of my zodiac sign extended readings so you'll be able to check out all of your placements and binge watch down there if you choose to all right so let's dive into your weekly energies and what is surrounding you this week i also want to let you guys know i do have a partner channel it's called goddess of stars tarot okay um that channel is for aquariuses only so just letting you guys know about that should you be dealing with an aquarius all right Let's dive in. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. Calling on my ancestors and spirit guides. What's the energy surrounding the collective this week? What can you tell me this week for my Libras? What's the energy here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we got one flute on the table there. Let's see what this is. We got dreams, okay? So this energy speaks of, you know, to pay attention to your dreams. It could even mean a loved one is visiting you in your dreams at this time, okay? They want you to keep a clear and conscious mind before you go to sleep because there's some type of message that is being sent to you here with the dreams card, okay? This could also mean to something is not what it seems okay um is the energy that is surrounding you here as well so pay attention to your dreams there may be messages that is coming to you at this time with the dreams card okay or it could even be your thoughts or there could be certain synchronicities that is surrounding you so they're wanting you to pay attention to that okay let's dive in what are the energies is here spirit what can you tell me what are the energies is here for the collective what other energies is showing up? What's the energy? What's the energy surrounding this reading? Okay, so we have transformation. This is all about um, spiritual awakenings. Change is happening in your life, okay? It's also about your prayers are going to be answered. So something that you've been hoping for, this is an energy that your prayers will be answered, okay? There's some type of transformation happening right now within your life. This can mean growth for you, okay? I'm seeing the empress here or the emperor here. I'm seeing you, you know, going through some type of transition is the energy that surrounds you but things are working out in your favor is the energy here with this transformation card okay this is about letting go of things releasing things that no longer serve you and this is about new beginnings here we oh child won't he do it we got closure here as well this energy is definitely about accepting something and moving on it's time to accept what, the way things are and move on this is about closing a certain part in your life and moving on to a new beginning okay could he mean closing a chapter moving on to the next chapter or closing the book and opening a new book take it as it resonates okay i feel like this is an energy of making room for new energies to come into your life new experiences to come into your life okay with this closure card so you could be seeking closure or maybe this is an energy of you know someone here definitely have received closure okay in a situation what other energies is here spirit what can you tell me for my libras what's the energy here thank you thank you thank you all right so we have empowerment and then we have grieving, okay? So this empowerment card, this is about seizing this, seizing the day, okay? This is about standing up for yourself and being control, uh, being in control over your life, okay? So I'm seeing the emperor here, okay? That strong, empowering energy. I'm seeing the strength card here, okay? So this is about taking control over your life, letting whatever be, whatever may be, may be, that kind of energy, but moving forward from it, okay? Is the energy that I'm seeing, okay? Strong energy surrounding the collective empowerment, being empowered in situations. Situations. We have the grieving card here. So for some of you, you could be going through some type of, you know, grief, loss is the energy that's surrounding you, maybe regret, feeling abandoned, underappreciated, unloved in a situation. So something could have transpired here for you. Maybe you're going through some type of healing. 
keep in mind too guys this could be the energy of the person that you have in mind okay so take it as it resonates um let's get one more energy here all right so last card we have is friendship so this card speaks of confiding in people that you trust so right now you could have a friend surrounding you it could even mean a family member surrounding you that you trust at this time to give you advice in situations okay or that you're venting to or uh asking for some type of support in that retrospect or you having people surrounding you that is supporting you at this time okay whatever it is that you are going through okay is the energy so let's dive in and see overall what is the energies coming through in this reading okay calling on my ancestors and spirit guides what's the energy here what's the energy here for the collective for my libras clarify further what's the energy surrounding the collective let's get a few cards what's the energy here thank you thank you thank you all right so we have the fool's card showing up here okay and it's showing up under the dreams card so a strong energy about taking a leap of faith here okay this is about being hopeful in situation this is about opening up doors this is about taking new opportunities taking a leap of faith here you know um opening yourself to new opportunities new energies this is about a new beginning a fresh start here here okay someone here could definitely be in an energy where they are feeling young again and maybe wanting a fresh start is the energy here surrounding you okay or there could be an energy where it's surrounding you in your dreams maybe the message is that you need a fresh start okay you need to take a leap of faith here and have a new beginning let let um the old be the old and start anew okay clarify what other energies are surrounding this reading Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So funny, it fell under the transformation card. This is about letting go of things and moving forward and starting anew. With the Ace of Pentacles, you could be having some type of new beginning coming in here towards you. This could mean um, a new job. This could be a raise, a promotion coming in here towards you. New investment opportunities, new business opportunities could be on the horizon here for you. Or it could be someone coming into your life to offer you a brand new beginning, a new a love and for that matter. Take it as it resonates, okay? Okay. Um, let's clarify further. What are the energies is here? We have the nine of cups in the reverse. Okay. So someone here, it could be unhappy with the way that things um, worked out between you and someone in these, in this situation with the nine of, um, cups in the reverse here definitely a strong energy of someone is taking on too much or it could be someone here is not happy with how things have turned out in a situation and it fell into the closure card so this could be someone not accepting things for the way that it is you know um finding it difficult to move on from a situation okay it could be the energy surrounding not ready to close that door or close that trap um that chapter here clarify the um empowerment card why is this here Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups. This is about moving on. So you could have new love coming in here with the Ace of Cups energy. This energy speaks of a new beginning, a proposal. This can mean a new relationship coming in here towards you, someone wanting to offer you new love, okay? So this is about moving on to something better here, okay? Taking control over your life. Maybe you are dating right now. Maybe you are on a dating site could be the energy here as well. You know, just putting yourself out there for a new beginning. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands wands under the grieving card this energy um, speaks of taking on too much responsibilities at this time okay very strong energy of um maybe needing help in situation situations taking on a lot of stress maybe high anxieties needing to let something go that is not good for your energy this is about lifting your high um vibrations okay um releasing negative energies that is surrounding you clarify the um last energy here spirit let's see what this is okay so we have the moon card in reverse okay so this is a strong energy about it could mean truths being revealed here for you. It could be the energy here. It could also mean an energy of releasing your fears, okay? It could be surrounding you at this time. This could also mean avoiding emotions or avoiding conflicts could be the energy as well. This is about, um, this could be a message that is also coming to you in your dreams. Maybe this is a sign, okay, that you are not listening to. They're wanting you to trust your intuition in the situation. Let's see here at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups and then we have the karma card coming up here which is the judgment card so very strong energy surrounding you with the seven of cups and the um 
the karma card this could mean definitely you releasing something letting go of the past and moving forward with new opportunities that's coming in here towards you this could even mean spiritual awakening happening um right before your eyes okay that you're going through some type of transitional transformation here there's new opportunities that are on the horizon here for you this could even mean clarity in situations you know maybe you were confused about something but now you are starting to see there's some something happening here with you becoming more aware or enlightened in a situation about what's surrounding you and what's going on in your life okay take it as it resonates guys this could be you or this could be like i said this could be your person that you have in mind okay we're gonna dive in and see what is transpiring here and why these energies are here okay so we're gonna clarify further so all of my ancestors and spirit guides, clarify the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, okay, um, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Moon card in the reverse. Why is this energy here? Clarify further. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Spirit, clarify, clarify. What's the energy behind the Fool card? What's the energy here? Let's see what this is. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups clarifying the Fool card. So this is a very strong energy. This is about wish fulfillments, okay, things happening in your favor. I feel like the spirit guide is giving you the go ahead to take that leap of faith. So this could be an energy, for example, like if you are dating someone and you're having second thoughts and you're wanting to know, hey, is this going to go anywhere? This is the yes card for you. OK, it's OK to take that leap of faith here because things will work out in your favor. OK, they're seeing that you are going to be blessed with abundance here at the bottom of the deck here. We do have the nine of pentacles. So I'm definitely seeing you being happy in the situation. This is them um, wanting you to trust your intuition here okay or your gut feeling is the energy but there's definitely a sign that's coming in here towards you um it could be a cancer maybe you're going to be taking a leap of faith with the cancer that's what i'm seeing here okay clarify further what's the energy here or water sign pisces cancer scorpio with the full card it could be in an air sign um um aquarius gemini or a libra here clarify the ace of pentacles why is the ace of pentacles here thank you thank you thank you okay so we have the empress didn't i say that i see the empress card and look what shows up this is about a new beginning i'm seeing growth here for you i'm seeing a transition and a transformation here someone could be looking at you in this light as well very strongly earth energy taurus virgo capricorn here with the ace of pentacles and the empress showing up but this is about a new beginning someone could be seeing you as someone maybe you're taking care of yourself now maybe you lost a lot of weight maybe your hair is looking good maybe your nails are done uh, maybe you are in a light um in, in a space where um you are you know following your gut feeling as far as starting over starting anew letting go of the past and moving forward for some of you this could be the birth of a baby okay because we do have the ace of pentacles being clarified by the empress so you could be pregnant and or um, um, right this time or you could have gave, given birth recently to a new baby especially with it being under the transformation card this could also mean guys for some of you who are wanting to become pregnant this could be the spirit guides letting you know yes you will come um, be pregnant and you will have a child this is something that could be in your cards in the very near future okay is the energy here especially um uh, with that transformation card because that card does mean your prayers and um will be answered okay clarify further what other energies is here here what other energies is here or that could mean someone is coming in here towards you your empress is coming in here towards you or emperor take it as it resonates okay clarify further but nonetheless if this is love coming in towards you this person is very domestic this person is very nurturing okay um this person could also be a, a um a very strong support system towards you as well okay clarify further what other energies is here what other energies is here? Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? Let's see what this is. Okay, so we got the Queen of Pentacles clarifying the um, Nine of Cups in reverse. So the Queen of Pentacles clarifying this energy here. This could mean someone that you are probably dealing with in um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that you were dealing with. They're not happy about how things have worked out between you and them. They're not happy that you guys are not speaking at this time. Could be the energy this fell under the closure card so definitely an energy of 
um, someone that is not happy about the outcome of the situation. Okay, so take that as it resonates. This person that you could have been dealing with could have been very well with finances as far as money goes. Take it as it resonates. Um, this definitely is a person who could have been very generous in the relationship. Um, someone who is seen as independent as well or could have been very successful when it comes to managing uh, money, career, that kind of uh, retrospect, okay? Let's clarify for this person could also been very giving in the relationship as well but they're not happy with the way how things turned out look at this i just saw this guys the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck yeah this is further confirmation this person is definitely in their heads about it maybe not willing to accept that you guys are not speaking or not ready for you guys to close this chapter in the relationship or close the book for that matter clarify the ace of okay yeah here we go so we got the five of pentacles clarifying the ace of cups so very strong energy here um someone here could be needing the strength to do something is the energy here um, in the situation? This could be someone coming back in towards you. This could even mean new love with the Five of Pentacles energy showing up. Because the Five of Pentacles speaks about being un feeling unloved, feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold um, is the energy. So someone that you love could be feeling this way towards you, okay? Maybe needing, or this could just be your energy here, okay? Because it is the Five of Pentacles, so that is strong earth energy. So whoever this person is that you are dealing with could be feeling that you left them out in the cold is the energy surrounding the reason. Okay, maybe this person is um, needing to the opportunity to come in here and say something towards you could be the energy here, especially with it falling under the empowerment car card. Okay, this is about standing up for yourself. Maybe this person now all of a sudden has this courage to come in and say something. Okay, is the energy clarify the ten of wands? Let's see what this is. Okay, so we got the two of pentacles clarifying the ten of wands. Okay, it fell under the grieving card. So someone here is definitely in an energy, okay, with the Ten of Wands clarified by the Two of Pentacles, feels like they are taking on a lot, okay? Someone here is weighing out their options as far as what is it that they want to do, okay? This could be maybe someone is weighing something very heavy on their hearts here, okay? Maybe now wanting to give to the relationship equally. We do have the Six of Pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck, so it's very strong energy here. Maybe this person is um, de dealing with multiple... Um, relationships at this time maybe dating multiple people and weighing out their options as far as who is it that they want to be with at this time because we do have the seven of um cups showing up here as well so that card can definitely represent having a lot of options in the situation or a lot going on okay and take it as it resonates it doesn't necessarily have to be um people per se it could even mean you know other job opportunities coming in here towards you business opportunities you know things of that retrospect or juggling family work life you know children that kind of energy so someone here has a lot going on they feel like they're giving to a lot here okay or giving a lot is the energy that's surrounding you with the um six of pentacles being at the bottom of the deck clarify the moon card in the reverse clarify the moon card in the reverse why is this here what's the energy behind the moon card in the reverse let's see what this is Okay, so yeah, we got the judgment card showing up here, okay? So someone here could definitely be coming back into your life with the judgment card. Um, this card speaks of... Um could even mean letting go of the past, moving forward. But then again, I'm seeing here very strongly, it could be someone coming in here in your life, okay? We do have the King of Wands showing up at the bottom of the deck. Um, the Judgment card speaks of letting go of the past. It could even mean making a decision on the past. Um, this could also mean someone from the past returns to your life seeking some type of forgiveness from you is the energy here. And then it says confide. It's under the Friendship card. So this person could be coming back in here, you know, with a friendship kind of approach, you know, towards you. This could even mean a new beginning because like I said, with the moon card in reverse, that's all about clarity. Truths are being revealed here. So someone could be coming in here towards you to speak their truth, okay, um, is the energy that's surrounding you here, my Libras, okay? Um, let's see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck. We do have the King of Wands and we do have the Eight of Cups. So this is someone that you could have left behind. Okay, or maybe they left you behind, take it as it resonates, but definitely someone here is wanting to now come back in is the energy that I'm seeing um, with the um, King of Wands energy. So we do have um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius could be who you were dealing with, or this could be completely new love, maybe leaving something behind and starting completely anew, okay, is the energy here. But nonetheless, we are going to dive in in the extended. I want to know more about this person in King of Wands energy to see if this is exactly new love love coming in here towards you okay or is this past love that's coming in here towards you we do have the empress here showing up and showing out um so this could definitely be 
um, a new opportunity here. Maybe someone's looking at you and seeing you in this light, okay, is the energy that's surrounding you here. But I'm definitely feeling someone is not happy about this 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 ending and i'm kind of feeling like it's someone returning um from your past here but again this could be new love coming back in because we do have the judgment card showing up here and i am feeling an energy of this is someone from the past wanting to come back in here maybe you are heavily on their minds here could be the energy as well but nonetheless guys you are going to want to meet me in the extended we're going to dive in deeper and we're going to see exactly what this energy is and go from there all right guys till next time bye <laughs> Cause you're back Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply